Thank you for joining me. I am going to tackle something that I mentioned in a video that I did about moving my top guns, this being one of them, the Sunya Green, not the mailman, the unnamed one, because I saw how big the rhizome was, how big the plant was. And I have decided to go and have a look if I can rejuvenate this plant inside its pot and I thought maybe I should film it take you along so what I'm doing right now is just basically taking out the loose lecker until I get to the bottom because I don't want to be shaking it around too much at this point until I see what I've got going on down here and how far I can get. My plan is to cut the rhizome in the pot but if I cannot then I will unpot this entire plant and split the plant entirely and start a new one. So that is the plan and that is what I'm doing at the moment. Just getting off the surface so I can see what's going on. And I hope you can see what's going on. I may need to pause this video because I'm not in a place where I can tap it out very well. If I choose to remove the plant from the pot, it is pot bound. But if that's the case, then of course I will start a new clip and show you what's going on. Now some of the leka on this front side over here, where's my fingers? There. Some of that leka is stuck to the roots. The back here isn't, but I can see an eye. Even though the rhizome was buried in leka, nothing happened to that eye. And I wonder if I can activate it and encourage a new growth in the back. So there's plenty of space root-wise in the back of this pot. I wouldn't find it necessary to unpot it. I, do, I don't see the need for that at the moment. But, uh, I mean, I am tempted. <laughs> With this uh, semi-hydro or self-watering system, Lekka la -di da you don't fiddle much with your plants because you know they're actually okay in the pot and you don't have to worry. So sometimes you get the fiddle urge, you know? You want to do something, you want to do something. And it's not a bad time actually to do something because my intention was to take advantage of its growing initiative but I don't want to take advantage of its growing initiative to split the plant and risk the orchid uh, in the back here not having roots to sustain itself so if I cut the rhizome at least the roots are that some of them that have grown back here will still sustain the plant without any stress. So what I'm going to do is pause this clip, take you off the tripod and let's have a look. Okay, do you see what I see? All of that. And if I slowly turn the plant around, because I'm still getting the distortions when I download my recorded videos onto iMovie, I'm getting distortions even though the video itself shows none. So I'll try and be slow about it. So there's the back of the rhizome with one really good lead going off in that direction. 
and I have this entire rhizome. This eye was buried underneath the leka, so you can see it makes doesn't hurt any eyes. This one is attached, but I have this growth not doing anything. I have an eye here. I have one there. I'm not sure is that that doesn't look like it's going to amount too much. And I have one second lead, as you can see. Let me get out of the sun. There we go. As you can see here, and it's bulging. So my initial plan, you can stay. My initial plan was actually just to cut the rhizome, figuring out where, but also to see if I have enough space for, whoopsie, leaf, if I have enough space for roots in this pot still. Let's take this out and you can see that the back here has plenty of room. Whoops, try again. See the back? There are not that many roots back here. And that's why I don't want to actually start the plant again. A, I don't have new root growth on this end to be on its own. They're all up front here. All the roots are here in the front. So if I just cut the rhizome, these roots won't be compromised. And we could trigger something in the back here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to film this. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see how it comes out. I'll just keep the camera going and if it is a big fail and you didn't see anything I do apologize but we'll revisit it afterwards regardless okay I'll see you just now okay we're back I think the screen can show what I'm trying to do here and uh, I have this this these are the three old icky ones that's how I got it so basically from what I can tell I can go in right here these are sterilized there we go and if I want to be very adventurous Hang on a second, is that, are there roots down underneath there? Let me just check. Yeah, because my thought process was to cut here, right here as well, and get rid of these two old ones to take advantage of that. But uh, there's roots. Okay. The rhizome is cut and I'm not going to play around with it anymore, as tempting as it may be those roots I need them alrighty well that was pretty straightforward I thought I would hear drum rolls and sparks and everything but none of that now the question is uh, of course the cinnamon I don't want to get cinnamon on those roots so what I'm going to do as it's dry I'm gonna leave it out here on the west side of the house and I'm going to fill lacquer around just to the base of the rhizome. I'm going to let this callus over. Just one moment, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay, we're back. An old tag. Yeah. I am going to cut. First, we're going to put some cinnamon on it, both sides. Tap it off a bit, and then I'm going to, let's see, maybe here, let's see if that will fit. I hope that was all in shot. <laughs> lift the rhizome apart. 
So I'm going to slide the tag in. Just like that. And close it up. Well, I saw none of that and I hope that you did get to see that because I was behind, somewhat behind the camera. And then, excuse the noise, today I can't drop much because I put a tray underneath my shelf. <laughs> See, I'm trying to learn bit by bit from what I did not so well before in other videos to improve a little bit what is going on now. So the tag can stay, I'm not bothered. And then I can fill in just down there where roots were used to having lecker. And that's where they should have lecker back so they don't dry out on me. Got some growing tips that I saw down there, so this is awesome. Let's see if Sunya Green will trigger a growth here in the back. I've been meaning to do this for a while. I have some other candidates that I would like to deal with as well. But we'll look at those in another video. And if I want to repeat it, there are several ways of, you know, pre prepping a plant. This was relatively easy. I was really expecting that I was going to have to take the whole plant out. But no, she can stay where she is and get on with what she's supposed to do. And maybe give us another growth or two in the back. So there we go. I hope that was somewhat in camera and I hope that this was interesting to you. I look forward to seeing the progress and I've left enough air around the tag there for it to dry. No more spraying today. Alrighty, thank you so much for tuning in and thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, take care. Please be safe. Bye.